Doan looks like to be winless in the G Pack this season. They look to be the next victim. Doan looking to attack here, but don't bring that weak Sunny Day to Tyler Borcher's block party. He's not having any of that. At the other end, Matt Hahn catches it at the top of the key, and he's just going to barrel down the lane for the tough lay in here. It should have been an and one, but doesn't matter. He's getting two points on that one. The Tigers do have some muscle of their own on the blocks. Trace Tupper spins off the defender and slams it home. They would take a three point lead here. I take Borchers over any post player in the conference. He'll back player down, then go baseline for the nice reverse lay in here. Mustang, the Mustangs offense just kept on humming. They look inside to Trey Brown, but he kicks out to Ben Hoskins for the triple. Wasn't as easy as expected, but the Mustangs stay undefeated at home this season with a 6-7-58 victory. Looking at the women's side, Morningside searching for its fourth conference win of the season. They lead 39-19 at the start of the second half. The Tigers think they've got something here with the lay-in, but seriously, folks, they got nothing. The Stings, they can't get the first time around here, but Sydney Hupp fights for the board and the putback here. Then off the inbound, Sierra Mitchell is going to shake the defender, and she's going to step back for the triple here. With the long ball, the Morningside, Arg, the Morningside basketball team is going to lead 51-23. to The Stangs, they're just looking to close this one out right now on the blocks right here. They were patrolling both ends of the floor. Kaylee Burke, the Hinton alum, she gets the up and under here. Then in transition, Skylar Snyder glides in for the lay-in. Morningside's going to bounce back from their first G-Pack loss of the season with the 89-46 triumph.